Hey everyone, Chris here, and I'm going to be doing sort of a June TBR. I'm very much a root reader, but for the first part of this, which is the Read Your Gaze Readathon, I'm really going to be trying to stick to the books that I mentioned for that. Um, and I might break away and read some of these other books that I'm more interested in for the month, but we'll see. Um, all the books I read are queer anyway, so they're all queer, and it's Pride Month, which is freaking awesome. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how this ends up. Um, picking books for the prompts for Read Your Gaze was really hard this time around. And I may have cheated a little bit on one of them, but we'll get we'll get to that when we get to that one. Uh, for the first age bash, which was a dystopian or survival story, I actually went with a comic that I've been wanting to read for a while called Crowded. It's in female female romance, I believe. It's about a girl who is um, has a hit put out on her for a million dollars, and she hires this female bodyguard to protect her while she figures out who put this hit on her, and they try to survive over the course of however many issues of the comics it is. I think it's like a 15 or 16 issue comic. But I've always been really interested in it. It looks, the artwork looks kind of meh for me. But the story just seems interesting and I love like bodyguard romance things. So um, I'm really excited for that one. And then it's also uh, for camping, which is a book that takes place in the woods. A few of my books that are on my TV are kind of fits this, but I'm going to pick White Rabbit by Caleb Browick for this one. I actually started this book a while ago and then kind of fell into a reading slump, but I really, really enjoyed the first part of it and was excited to read it. And also I'm kind of a little bit in of a mystery thriller mood, so we're here for it right now. Uh, next one's art, a book with an illustrated cover. A lot of these count because I'm actually a few of these are things on my TBR like graphic novels and comics. Um, Crowded even counts if I want to just use it as a double. Uh, but let's pull up a new book. I'm going to say Our Dreams at Dust by Shimanami Tasagari. Um, this is a book that was recommended by Adriana at Perpetual we Reads, and anything they recommend to me, I end up really enjoying. Um, and also, it just looks really cool. It's always a coming of age story set in Japan, so excited for it. Let's see. Nature. This is the one that kind of doubled for the camping one for me. Books that take place in nature. Um, White Rabbit, at least part of it, does take place in nature, so I could use that again. But instead, I'm going to put another book on here. It's Camp by Elsie Rosen. Honestly, this book can count for camping or nature. If I don't get to one of these two books, I'm just going to use it as a double. Um, but yeah, this is I just got this book. I pre-ordered it. was really excited for L.C. Rosen's second book because I love Jack of Hearts and other parts. It's a, such an underrated novel. It was so good. And so I really picked this book up for the author more than anything. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to see how his writing has uh, developed in the story. Let's see. Bird watching, also known as the topic I completely cheated on, uh, a book with a bird in the cover. So um, I have, I realized another book on my TBR fits this, but originally I was going to just put the uh, a webcomic called The Witch Door, which doesn't necessarily have a cover, an exact cover for it. But one of the characters is a bird witch. Like, her, she's a witch who has magic over birds. And so in one of the panels for one of the chapters, there's a picture of her transforming into a bird. And so I was going to use that as my, this kind of topic thing, um, which is a little bit cheating because it's really not the cover. But another book I have that I haven't finished actually also has a bird on it. I thought all the books I could think of were like things I had already read. But, oop, y'all didn't hear that. Infinity Sun has a phoenix on it, so it counts. I don't know if I'm going to get to this one. I'm going to say The Witch Door is my pick for that one. Infinity Sun, I've had a weird history with where I really loved one of the characters and the other character not so much. So I only got like 60 pages in the first time I tried to read it. Um, but it'd be nice to finish this. And I do really love one of the characters in this a lot. So I think I'm going to try to tackle this again and hopefully I enjoy it. All right. The last book is Teamwork, which is the group book, Felix Ever After. This is a book that I didn't think I was going to be able to do, because the Chicago Public Library is still closed. Like, I can't take out a book. I'm on a hold list for this, but, like, no one can really get the books or turn their books back in, so it's just not going to come in for me. Um, but I'm considering just getting the book on Kindle, because I have some Kindle credits, and if I do, then I will definitely read it. Otherwise, we'll just 
do a different book for like that extra book because I have some other stuff that I'm reading um, and some web comics and things like that. So we'll see if I can get to this one. I will try to. It just kind of depends on Kindle and other things. But I'm just, this is a book that was also on my most anticipated releases for this year. Um, and I don't really know that much about it, but it looks really interesting. I'm really kind of glad it was picked as a group book, so I'm going to hear a lot more people's opinions on it. And we'll see if I get to that one or not. But, so that's for Read Your Gaze. Um, other books that I'm planning on back in a different outfit. Um, because I've totally forgot half of the books that were actually I'm planning on reading this month when I filmed this. Um, like... How to Be Remy Cameron with Julian Winter, because I just bought this one. Um, and You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, which I'm super excited for, and I'm actually going to be reading this one pretty soon. I might dive into this one before I finish some of the other books on the reader grades, like, listing that I just did, to be honest, because, like, we been want to read this for a minute, um, and it just came in the mail last night, so. Um, this book is a library book, but the libraries are all closed still in Chicago. Yeah. So, which I mentioned with the Felix Ever After thing, um, and I haven't finished this one yet. So, These Witches Don't Burn, I'm going to be diving into. I also renewed it. Um, actually, it automatically renewed it off the Chicago Public Library System. So, I have it for like another 20 days, which hopefully the library is open by the end of that. We'll see. Um, only Mostly Devastated by Sophie Gonzalez, which is, everybody people are saying it's like a queer Grease, which I'm here for. Um, you know, just we're down for it. Tell Me How You Really Feel uh, by Mina May Safi. And this story is about two girls who I think they're like, I think it's enemies to lovers, is my, is my understanding. Like that they hate each other, one of them thinks the other one hates them. Um, and then they have to work together and goes from there. So, and this cover is amazing. Uh, Death Prefers Blondes, Queer Oceans 8, like, High Heisting with Drag Queens. Um, it's by Kayla Rorick, who is all on this TBR with White Rabbit. Um, just excited for that in general. I don't know if I mentioned this in the first set, but check please. I'm about this much through it, around there somewhere. I wrote it out. Um, but yeah, gonna be done with this one pretty soon, so also on the list. And I love Check Please. It's so sweet and cute and just everything. I'm very much a mood reader. There's a lot of queer web comics that have kind of been like in my wheels and in my like sphere right now and queer comics that I've been interested in and things that I want to talk about. So I might hit some of those first, but hopefully I will get those books for the Read Your Grades out in the next week because the Readathon starts today. I'm really going to try to. Um, wish me luck on that. We'll see if I can. Um, but yeah, tell me if you're participating in Reader Grades, tell me some of the books you're excited for. If you have any prior queer releases that are coming out later in the year that you're excited for, let me know. I think I'm going to do a little mini, like, second half of the year, most anticipated queer books, since I didn't do, like, a big vi video this year because of, like, a lot of things going on. Um, and there's going to be some really great books on the list. Tell me if you guys have any that you're really excited about that are coming out so I can add them as well. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!